Hey everybody, Jay Grams here, and uh, we're really going to go behind the scenes today with some inventory that literally has just arrived, is being processed, and not even in the showroom yet. So you're going to get a peek at cars that are not even listed, but uh, are for sale. Uh, this just arrived. This is a Roadrunner 383 with a uh, four-speed in it. Yeah. I don't have all the facts straight because these literally just came in. This is from Florida. That's from Florida. It's a 67 Chevelle 396 black with red interior. Oh, sorry, that one's sold. <laughs> what am I talking about? Uh, this one here is a 67 GTO. I know this just came in from Arizona. Uh, four speed convertible, nice clean car. 70 Chevelle is sold and on its way out. We have a couple more cars over here. Now these are uh, new arrivals. Oh, it's a 71 or 72 Chevelle, but it's a 454 big block. Uh, great colors, blue with the white stripes, cowl induction. Kind of got some goofy like fog lamps down there. We decided to take those off, uh, but these are going through the inspection process right now. Here's a, a high-end build 69 Camaro. It's loaded with carbon fiber parts. It's got an LS supercharged motor. Uh, really, uh, you know, a high-end custom build right there. That will be up for sale shortly. Here's a 70 Cutlass convertible. Just exceptionally clean car. Uh, has a black interior, automatic. A nice car. The MG is uh, possibly getting sold. We have a Pulsar that uh, is being sold. Just went through service a second time. We have a Hellcat here that's sold. Every car goes through inspection twice. It sees the shop when it comes in and before it leaves, we just check it again, see if there's anything we missed the first round. Little Nova sold. Uh, 427, uh, I think it's a stage three Roush Mustang just came in this morning. It's got real low miles. This belongs to our dent guy that comes out about once a week. You know, he goes around, checks the cars. If there's a little dimple or dent, uh, he straightens them out for us. Uh, but now I'm going to take you in the shop. You know, it's dusty, dirty, noisy, but uh, we'll show you some cars that just arrived. All right, so this car literally just arrived. It's a 67 Camaro 396 four-speed. Looks like it's ground up restored. Looks like it's a sleeper. Got the poverty wheels, no flashy stripes, uh, but a good clean car. I think it just went through, uh, got its test drive portion of it. You can see the clipboard up there. He takes notes on what it may need or not need. Uh, 70 LT1 Corvette, uh, all number match documented getting a little service work done. There's a nut and bolt restored 69 RSSS Camaro, big block full of options, window sticker. That's a really special car. We got the rear end cover off. I think they were doing something in there, it was making a noise or something. But that's, uh, that's a killer car. I can't wait to get that in the studio. Uh, 69, I believe, Super B. Uh, air grabber car just arrived. It's just going through the service and inspection process. Uh, I was just told it was a good car. It checked out really well. Here's the original Survivor 70 Chevelle that's on our website. I mean, it's getting some work done on the front brakes. The Volkswagen uh, Pro Touring camper bus came back in for some work. Sometimes we write up the work ticket, get service done, and it might be waiting for a part. So we get the photos done and then we bring it back in and uh, you know finish it up. A little chopped hot rod coupe, 32 Ford. We sold it a few years ago, just bought it back and just going through getting some things done. So he has the headliner out of it, door panels off. This is the mechanic side of things. Now we'll go over to the detail section. And now we're in the detail side of things. This is a GTX uh, that's in our showroom. I don't know why it's here. Maybe a customer's flying in to look at it. So they're making sure it's cleaned up nicely. 55 Chevy uh, wagon 
I actually think it's sold. So same thing, they might just be cleaning it up one more time before it, it ships out. Same thing with this truck. Uh, that's in inventory already. They must have pulled it in here just to, to spruce it up. Might have a buyer coming out. 69 Camaro Rally Sport. This has not been advertised yet for sale, so you're getting the first peek at it right now. Getting polished up. Uh, here's a Roadrunner we bought a few weeks ago. Had cracks in the block that someone camouflaged, so we went ahead and bought a new block and completely uh, rebuilt the engine. We just got the engine back, so that'll be up for sale soon. And then we have some cars waiting to be serviced. Some, like this is the 57 Chrysler, it's on our website. It's just parked up there because we're out of room. Down below is a 69 Camaro that went through service, not just waiting for its detail. Actually, I don't even know what car that is up there. Let's find out. Here's a 57 Oldsmobile. I think we had the dash apart, sent some gauges out to be rebuilt. So it's just been sitting, waiting for about six weeks, but it looks like it's all together now. So it'll run through detail and uh, look a whole lot nicer than it does right now, all dusty and dirty. Tucked away there, 65 GTO, uh, 69 Shelby. 32 Chevy under the cover. This is another new piece of inventory that none of you have seen yet. It's a nut and bolt restored 74 Bronco. It's got the Trope Baja package on it. Uh, so that's uh, you know, going through the process. I literally just bought this a couple days ago. I think it's a 1960 MGA. Uh, also waiting to go through the process. Uh, 71 or two Chevelle convertible frame off restored. I uh, just arrived. Automatic bucket seats. So yeah, nobody has seen that one yet. And these are cars that are on the website. Again, just out of space. 502 Chevelle convertible. Our Dodge Gasser. Got a Dodge Challenger. Got a Chevy truck. 67 uh, Camaro, we actually just installed factory gauges. Uh, so the pictures on our website at the moment show it without the tachometer and gauges. So we're gonna take some new pictures of that and update it. 67 uh, Fairlane GTA, S code 390, I believe. I hope I got all my facts straight. I'm going off memory here. We got a lot of things to keep track of. Gorgeous, 54 Cadillac. Uh, but just like the Oldsmobile, there's a few gauges not working. We took them out, we sent them out, just waiting for those to come back in, and that'll be processed. You'll see that on our website, hopefully very soon. Uh, Camaro is sold. New owners anxiously awaiting for it to be delivered, which should happen very shortly. And when you buy a car from us, it comes with some goodies. You know, some hats and t-shirts along with the photo package. Uh, so just some neat, fun stuff that'll come with it. Last but not least, 69 Camaro Pace Car, nut and bolt restored, 354 speed, literally just arrived. Uh, so that's gonna go through the process and be for sale soon. The 65 Le Mans GTO, that one just sold, so waiting to be shipped out. So again, this is just a little behind the scenes. Uh, most of this is inventory that you've seen or some of it you haven't seen. A few of these are on the way out the door, but uh, I hope you enjoyed the tour. All right, I wasn't planning on doing this, but we got some bonus footage for you here. We're gonna go through three of our outbuildings and see what we got. It's literally gonna be a surprise for both of us. I have not walked through these buildings in a while. Well, days. <clears throat> now we use these for storage. Never have enough storage. 
We have rides around the property. We have a couple trolleys and train cars. And this is not for sale. It's a 34 Ford all fiberglass electric car. It's part of our Santa Claus uh, show we've got going on right now. But here's an interesting vehicle that I think we've decided to sell. Uh, this is gonna get detailed up. This is an actual manure spreader. Fling the manure out the back and George Barris made it into a hot rod years ago. Uh, this actually runs in drives. I bought this uh, a couple of years ago. It's been in our museum on display. And when I bought it, my brother says, we used to own it 10 or 15 years ago. I didn't even remember owning it. We get so much cool stuff through here. You would think I would remember if I owned a manure spreader once before. Um, got a Duesenberg. Uh, yeah, this one's the Roadster. And we got several of these in the museum. This one right here, we're really proud of though. This just arrived from Holland. When say we buy cars from all over, literally bought this in Holland. It's a French made car, uh, 1912 Delaunay. Um, complete ground up restored, very authentic. Uh, actually has a fold down top here. If you wanna follow me around to the other side. <clears throat> We gotta get a peek of the interior. This is gonna be on display in the museum, but just about everything has a price tag, doesn't it? Uh, look how ornate the upholstery is. There's actually, uh, you talk to the driver through that tube sitting over there. Uh, it's just an air hose, but you talk through it and there's uh, a, a little speaker I'll show you for the driver. You see it right up, right up there. That's the uh, intercom system. So the driver would be out here in the exposed elements uh, with soft leather. You got a step plate here to climb up and get your luggage off the top. Very rare that it has its original Rothschild headlamps. Those would be a flame, not a light bulb. But uh, yeah, that's a stunning car. We're very proud to have, to have just acquired it. Uh, that'll be in the museum. You know, value on something like that, several, several hundred thousand dollars for a car like that. And they're just not out there. They're in private collections, uh, but this will be on display. So let's go through the other two buildings, see what we got. All right, I haven't been in this building for a couple of weeks, but let's see what we've got. Oh yeah, this is a GTX, pretty new arrival. Uh, people love this car. We had deposit on it right away, so it's uh, waiting to go through that process. We have a Ford truck here. It's got a built 460 motor in it. This is on our website for sale. Let's move right down the row. 63 Impala Super Sport, body off frame restored, all leather interior, stick shift, dual quad, stroker motor. Uh, it's got some raindrops on it. They must have just pulled it in. Uh, it didn't sit outside, but must have got wet when they were moving some cars around. But yeah, same thing with this Chevelle. It's a frame off restored, 66 Chevelle, big block, four speed, posi. <clears throat> Make sure one of the guys get in here and wipe them down. We have a deal cooking on this 1955 Buick, convertible, body off frame, restored. You could eat off the bottom, glove soft leather. Gorgeous, gorgeous car. <clears throat> How about a 68 Pro Touring Firebird? It has an LS motor. I think it's a five speed in there. You upgraded steering, suspension, and brakes. This one is for sale. Uh, it's on our website. And then let's uh, just go right down the list here. We got a 58 Cadillac. This is on our website. It's a Survivor, very original car. It drives like a dreamboat. Anyone who drives this car, you're gonna say it's, it's just like, it's, it's not like any other car. It's just so big and smooth. Uh, a Rally Challenger, how about that? It's got the strobe stripes down the side. We have two of them. One's an automatic, one's a four speed. I don't know which one that is but beautiful car, rare car, 72 Hearst Oldsmobile. 
Uh, I mean, they made hundreds of them, not thousands of them. Down here is a 69, I believe, yeah, 69 Firebird convertible, body off frame restored, 400 motor. It's actually rotisserie restored. Then up on top, uh, boy, I don't know if it's a 49 or 50 or 51, they look very much the same. Uh, Ford convertible, restored, all stock condition, black leather interior. Uh, very affordably priced. That, that car, I think, is a deal. I don't know why it's not sold. I'm ashamed to show you this car like this. It got shipped in, and I think it's waiting for a few parts, but it's a 56 Ford convertible, black with the red and white interior, loaded up. They call this the cattle guard up on front. It's got spotlights. It's got all the goodies. Continental kit in the back. When you see this on our website in a couple of weeks, it's going to knock your socks off. <clears throat> then we got a Mercury. It's not a Ford. It's the Mercury Woody Wagon, about 1950, um, in really well cared for condition. A stunning 65 Oldsmobile. Uh, it's got a Mondello built motor with the W30 Tri Power, uh, the chrome wheels. Just a beautiful car. That's on our site. And then behind me, this is a new arrival, not on our site yet. Uh, it's going through the service process. Um, it's a short bed truck, body off frame. Underneath is gorgeous. This thing is killer. I can't wait to do the video on that one. So we got one more building to peek in before we go. All right, here's a 67 Camaro big block with a four speed. And if I'm not mistaken, I think we owned that car like 20 something years ago, or we appraised it a long time ago. And uh, here it is back home being sold. Uh, we have a V12 Packard here. Great touring car, it was driven here, not trailered. Uh, big formal sedan, has the jump seats in the back. Uh, another rare Oldsmobile, it's a 70 442 pace car convertible. Uh, again, they made just a few hundred, not thousands. That is one of the actual cars. Up on top is a 66 or 67 Cornet convertible, ground up restored, red, white interior, 383, big block, stunning car. Uh, so there you go. There's a little bonus footage of some of the uh, behind the scenes uh, cars. So thanks for watching. We'll catch you again next week.